Hello everybody, welcome to this fourth example of where we're going to solve for a perfect Bayesian equilibrium. This game is going to be a little bit different because we're going to have a proper subgame with it. So the game that we're going to be solving is going to be as follows, where player one faces a choice of ending the game immediately and getting a payoff of zero, or getting into a simultaneous move game with player two. The way that we're going to go and solve this game is going to be as in our previous three examples is that we're going to write this game in a induced strategic form we're going to look for all possible nash and subgame perfect nash equilibrium we're then going to solve for the beliefs that support a possible perfect bayesian equilibrium updating those beliefs whenever possible and then we're going to define the perfect bayesian equilibrium of this game so first we're going to go and write this game in a strategic form which is going to be as follows i'm going to assume that you know how to do this Next, we're going to solve for all Nash equilibria and subgame perfect Nash equilibria. We make a distinction because there is a proper subgame here. Now, the Nash equilibria of this game is going to be where player one is playing A and B1 and player two is playing R. The next one is going to be where player one is playing A, B2 and player two is playing R. And the last one is where player one is playing B and B1 and player two is going to be playing L. Now the subgame perfect Nash equilibria of this game is going to be just a single value or a single equilibrium here where player one is playing B, B1 and L. That is simply because if we backwards induct uh, and we roll the, the, the game tree backwards, we see that player one is going to get a higher payoff from entering into the simultaneous move game uh, with player two, then just ending it immediately. Now we need to solve for the beliefs that are going to support this outcome as a perfect Bayesian equilibrium, updating it whenever possible. Um, and we do that by assigning probabilities at each node on this information set. And we're going to calculate the expected payoffs of player two playing L and playing R. We see that the expected payoff of player two playing L is gonna be one minus P. And for playing R, it's gonna be minus two. And that means that player two is going to get a higher payoff from playing L uh, than playing R for any value of P that he's gonna choose or any belief that he would have with regards to player one's actions. Lastly, we're gonna go and define our perfect Bayesian equilibrium. Our perfect Bayesian equilibrium is where player one is playing B, B1, and player two is playing L, and this is supported by any belief. No equilibria has been dropped since we only have a single subgame perfect Nash equilibrium. So I hope this video has been informative and uh, clarified uh, some of your notions with regards to perfect Bayesian equilibrium.